Hello, Beth. You're right, I do suck, because you know what? Only reason I haven't been making videos is because I, like, forgot about making videos. I'm just... I'm working two jobs, and I have an internship at an art gallery now. Woohoo! But because I'm doing all the things all the time, weekends just, like, don't exist anymore, and so I forget what day of the week it is, and then I forget about making videos on Fridays, and then I just didn't even think about it for the last, like, months. But Beth, cats don't make videos. Why should I have to make videos? That seemed like a perfectly logical line of argument until I remembered that the most popular thing on the internet is, like, cats. Remember all those frames I was painting? Now they're filled with wax and pictures. All except for one. Cooling wax. Hot wax. Don't touch the hot wax. Don't touch the cooling wax either, because I don't put a dent in it. Oh, and here's another one hanging on my wall. So you know what's really great about right now is that I got my tax return back a few weeks ago, and it's like the best in terms of numbers as far as tax returns I've ever gotten, which is awesome. But I don't know if you ever knew this, but the lens on this camera, like my standard lens, not the super zoomy lens, just the little, the little normal one that I use for every day, has been broken since like August because I made the mistake of setting it up on top of my dresser over there in the closet. And then the cat jumped up on the dresser and knocked the camera down on the floor. And the lens could no longer attach to the camera properly. The camera was fine. And essentially the lens was also fine. It just didn't attach to the camera, which is a problem. And I feel like this thing is off-center now that I moved it. Oops. But because I actually like have money now, thanks to tax returns, I got a new lens for the camera. Like, seven months later. Yes! I also got another thing since I got a little bit of extra money. Um, I updated my entire entertainment system. Beth, as you know, for a long time I was using this TV. And it's a nice little TV. It works just fine. Quality TV. It's big and old and clunky, but it works. You know, it shows movies and stuff. But unfortunately, my DVD player has been crapping out. And since, like, January, I haven't been able to watch a solid movie because I'll get a, about an hour into the movie and it, like, freezes up and starts skipping as if there's, like, a scratch on the disc, and then you look at the disc and it's perfectly fine. So I decided if I was going to replace the DVD player, I might as well upgrade to a Blu-ray player, which you can see right there. But the Blu-ray player it doesn't attach to this old TV because it doesn't have the capability to do so because it's old. So I also got this. I have a new TV. Oh, and look, that's the menu for The Hobbit playing, because you know what? I also purchased The Hobbit on Blu-ray because reasons. The speakers are Jake's. But I have a kicking new entertainment system. Look at Bilbo running! Look at the cute little Hobbit! Ooh, dwarves, Hobbits, ponies, trolls. What's not to love about this movie? So now I have to find a way to get rid of this TV. And something to put in that space after it's gone. Maybe I'll move some of the books off of the dresser in the closet. I do also think it's worth pointing out that I didn't spend all of my money on, on technology. I still have like over half of my tax return that I am splitting between saving and paying off my credit card. So it's not like everything was spent and gone. I'm just feel the need to point that out. Anyway, I'm wrapping this up and I'm going to put this movie together and put it on the internet even though it's a Monday because I'm like, I just owe you a lot of videos so might as well just start now. Okay, bye.